If you drop sand into water, it will do this satisfying bounce. But did you know this also works in real life? Today, we're testing the most satisfying Minecraft experiments in real life. And to start, breaking a tower of scaffolding is extremely satisfying. So, we're gonna do it in real life. But that's not how scaffolding works in real life. But it is our domino to work. Oh. Just like breaking the bottom scaffolding in Minecraft causes everything to come crumbling down, it's the same for dominoes. It's the same for dominoes. How does it feel so sturdy? It's the same for dominoes. And that isn't even the most satisfying thing we're doing in this video. We're gonna recreate the Frostwalker enchantment in real life. Use a chainsaw to slice through slime and so much more. Watching skulls spread rapidly across the biome is pretty satisfying. But what happens when we unleash this substance in real life? So you're telling me that that disgusting black oil is a virus? Yeah, and whatever you do, don't touch it or else this will happen. Whoa, 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 why is it going up your arm? That's disgusting, this is horrible, ew, it looks like venom. I don't want to get infected with whatever that is. The infection of Skulk is with me, and now it's coming to you, Chip. It's coming <laughs> It's just madness, bro, see? Is it safe for me to come back? <laughs> So you promised that that's not a virus. Ooh, it's not gonna kill me. Stop. No, it's not. Look, bro. Literally like rainbow magnets out here. See? It's just a glove with rainbow magnets. And what is that? This is something called ferrofluid. Ferrofluid? Is it alive or from outer space? Well, it's not quite from outer space, but it was actually made for outer space. And I've got a few more tubes of it just here. You see. In outer space, normal fuel doesn't quite work because instead of flowing normally, the liquids just start floating in zero gravity. It's all kind of weird stuff. So NASA came up with a solution, right? They created this type of fuel that can actually be controlled with the flow using magnets, which is exactly what I did here. I hid the magnets underneath the glove and check, check out how cool this is, all right? If we bring it here, look at that. You can actually draw with the fluid because it follows the magnet around. That is satisfying. How cool is that? Look at this, ready? And then we bring it, woo! and you can draw it however you want. So you think it's satisfying? You want to have a play now? No, 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 no. Stop. You've probably seen the classic, satisfying falling sand trick in Minecraft. And while it isn't possible with real sand, you can do it with kinetic sand. Why is that sand EY merch blue? Well, obviously because it's the best merch, but you guys can get it at eystream.store or down below. But... It's not just regular old sand. Yes, there is regular old sand involved. And we're going to make some. And then I'll show you why it is so satisfying, right? So we've got, you know, everyday old sand. We're going to chuck some of this here. I totally did not steal this from my neighbor's garden. This is sand, right? And when it comes down, uh, boring, you know, that is not a very satisfying fall. But we're going to use a little bit more stuff. First, we're going to get ourselves some corn flour. And this will make a little bit more sense in a second. But we're going to do two tablespoons of corn flour here. It looks so like let's chuck that in. Well, <laughs> I trust me, you know. Well, that's unfortunate, but that's okay. I'll just have to buy more EY merch. And now we're gonna grab ourselves the detergent. Now this is really important because in a second we're gonna use some glue. But if you mix glue with detergent, it creates like semi-middle glue thing. And that way the stand won't like stick together permanently. It's gonna be able to move around. All right, so now we got the glue. Would you like to do the honors chip? We're going yes, to need... please, I love glue. We're gonna need two tablespoons of that. This All is not right. a lot of glue, it's coming out really slow. And then we pull that in. All right, and we're gonna mix all of that right up and done. All yes. right, it's nice and sticky together. And I think it's time we drop the sand. Prepare to be satisfied. All right, look, it's literally gonna be uh -huh. a Minecraft cube. Here we go. And whoop. Okay, that was all right, but it was just one color of sand dropping. That was a bit boring. I, I refuse to be wrong. I'm going to show you another reason it's so satisfying. Well, because it's not normal sand, we can stick to things. We can grab a little bit of food dye just here. All right, this is my worst nightmare. If this gets on the EY merch, it's all over. No, 
All right, and we're just gonna put one, two drops of food dye, all right? Like, I know that's a tiny bit, but if we mix this in, look at how green it's turning. And I've got two other colors that I've prepared from before. Let's chuck in the red and yellow. All right, it's not coming yet. Oh, it's so sticky. I got it. Oh. <laughs> ah, oh, nice. And then we're gonna grab the blue, chuck that in as oh, well, and just wash that. This look is at it. sick. It's oh, literally wow. a rainbow. It's beautiful. It looks Whoa. like a thermal camera. Oh. I'm so sorry for doubting you. This oh. was actually really satisfying. Oh. Okay, now it's becoming a grossish color. All right, cut the camera. Yeah. Cut. We can all agree that collecting XP in Minecraft is extremely satisfying. But what's the closest thing to XP orbs in real life? Well, I have a theory, Chip. Tiny little magnets. Magnets, that's so boring. Okay, come on, man. You just, look, I know these can't quite circle around you, but imagine they were a little bigger. And imagine this even bigger magnet is your giant Minecraft booty. Hey, my booty is nice and flat, okay? It's awesome. Okay, usually when people want thick booties, but you know what? I'm not gonna question it. And we've got the slow mo camera set up here to capture all of its goodness. Ready? Whoa! Whoa! That was so cool! How it just is satisfying! That is like XP! It even sounds like it Yeah, too. it's like... By combining four streams of water and chucking a ton of items in the middle, you can create an epic whirlpool in Minecraft. But how are we going to find four streams of water in real life? I am... Um, oh, cool. There's one. The tap. The tap. There's a stream of water, Chip! Ah! Number two. EY stream! What? That is the worst joke you've made, and now I'm all wet! You are officially banned! What? From using the tap! What if I need to wash my hands? You wash your hands? Water with the toilet water! That's disgusting! The tap is banned from your access! Alright, but you can use this water. Ah, oh, sick! What's this? Okay, you see, this experiment that's satisfying, you only need one string of water and two plastic bottles. Plastic bottles? That's so boring! That's okay, you have to stop keeping calling my experiments boring, alright? Check this out. Ready? So we're gonna flip it over just like that. And how satisfying is that? <gasps> is that water floating right now? <laughs> Do you have <laughs> some kind of magical powers? Are you caught? Yes, I am. No, what? no. <laughs> this isn't even the satisfying bit. This is just because at the moment there's a bunch of air here in the bottom and the pressure is built up so much, it's holding the water up. It's not magic. It. It's just plain old science. But you know what is satisfying? If you spin it. Oh, can I spin it? Yeah, go for it. You are about to break all of physics. Yes! Check it out! Oh, that's awesome. It's like a whirlpool. That is so cool. Oh, wow. Why is it doing this? Well, you see, it's now flowing because that whirlpool is actually the air. When you spin it, the air went up like a vortex and pushed the pressure up, pushing it back down. Oh, that's awesome. If you use the Frost Walker Enchant on your armor stand, send them sliding, you'll create that super satisfying ice park. There is no way you are pulling this off in real life, I refuse you are the to believe You are Chip! I can do it, and all I need is a stove, a pot, and a slave. What? What? Just okay, kidding. Am I just just kidding. kidding. I just need a lab okay. partner, all right? Okay, I'll First be a lab partner. Let's set off the flame, and then I want you to put your hand there. No. Also, that's not cold, it's hot, it's fire! <laughs> <laughs> so we're gonna put the pot on here, and we're going to need an entire litre of vinegar. Can you measure out our litre for us? Ugh. All right, we're gonna boil up the vinegar. Now, this is really important, guys, because vinegar is known as an acid. That's right, it's not a super strong acid, so it's not gonna burn you, but it is one of the lowest- Oh, oh my gosh! Ew. Oh no, we definitely spelled stuff it that smells. Not good. That's gross. All right, so we're gonna boil this acid, which is going to make it stronger, but it's gonna be a little bit different once we combine it with this bicarbonate soda or baking powder. Now this is a base, all right? And I want you to put four teaspoons in here. Now we're gonna be really careful. You're gonna put one teaspoon, and as you put it in, I'm gonna mix it in. We have to do this really, really carefully. If we don't get the mixing right, this entire reaction won't work. All right, ready? This still slowly, isn't slowly, nice. slowly, 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 sorry. <laughs> How cool is that? It's beginning to really stink. Oh. Oh, this idea okay. stinks. Oh, slowly, slowly. Why do you keep trashing on all of my things? But inside here is just technically, it's just salt and water, but it's the salt that's going to crystallize and give us the frost walker. So it's like the ocean. No, not quite the ocean, all right? The ocean's not acidic. Okay, so uh, salty acid water. 
You know, it's a good thing you became a YouTuber and not a scientist, Chip. <laughs> and we're gonna keep stirring this until the bubbles go away, and after that, we're gonna leave it to cool for a bit. Okay, in Minecraft, you can kill an entire row of zombies with just one piercing arrow. So let's grab our bow and pretend these balloons are our zombie friends. How are you going to get that through all four balloons, EY? Well, obviously I chanted my bow with piercing. Have yeah. you ever shot a bow before? No, but I have in Minecraft. It's the first time for everything. Not the same Here goes thing. nothing. No. All right, charge up. <laughs> oh, <my God. laughs> that was so cool, man. And now that our mixture has finally cooled down, we have some uh, perfectly normal looking water. That is, of course, until I put my finger inside. Check this Ooh, what's out. What's happening? No way you're doing this. It's in literally real life. forming crystals around my no. finger. How did you do that? Well, obviously, I had Frost Walker and Chad on my fingers. Check it out. Instant ice, bro. Whoa. When you head out to a snowy biome, place down some water, we all know the satisfying feeling as it melts through the snow. Now, while the snow in real life doesn't quite work like that, surprisingly, Fairy Floss does. Wait, Chip, do you know where we got the Fairy Floss? No. Where is it? I don't know. I don't oh, have wait. It. Oh, you have it right here. Oh, yeah, I found it. Why does it look like someone's been eating it? I don't know. It tastes good. It passed the taste test. Taste? You're eating the experiment! No. All right, so we've got ourselves the beautiful fairy floss. We've got some classic old water. And watch this. Ready? It will melt straight through the fairy floss. Whoa! It? Whoa. It's, it's just straight up dissolving. Look at that. It's dissolving quicker than you can even put it in. Look at that. Yeah, I literally can't even shove it in any pasta. Whoa. Oh, that's awesome. Look at it. Oh my gosh, it just disappeared. I bet that water tastes so good right now. Using a trident, together with the loyalty enchantment, you can fill your inventory, spam the trident out, and create a satisfying spin. Funnily enough, you can do the same thing with batteries. What? Bro, I'm not in high school. I know how batteries work. But do you, though? <laughs> Yeah. What? I reckon you haven't seen of this trick involving just a little bit of copper wire. What are you gonna do with that? Okay, bro, it's electrical wire and there's currently no electricity flowing through. You're not gonna get electrocuted. I oh. need you to cut me okay. out. Like, I don't know, maybe this much copper wire. Okay. So here's how this is gonna work, guys. Basically, batteries, they have a positive side and a negative side. Look, guys, I'm still not a science expert, but I think having the giant magnet we've got here on the bottom is going to have, uh, like, upgrade the negative side of the battery. And so we're gonna create a mini electrical current from the top to the bottom using this wire. Right where the battery is, right in the center, we want to bend that copper wire right across. Then we're gonna create a crease on the other side and I'm creating basically a tiny little M shape. Oh man, this is so tricky. All right, we're gonna use the pliers here guys to get the perfect shape. And that M shape is going to connect to the top of our battery like so. So I'm gonna put that right there. We're going to make another crease where the magnet would theoretically be. Now imagine the battery is sticking on top of there and then we're gonna put that on either side of our battery like that now what I want to do I'm gonna create a circle around the other side of the magnet and then do the same thing on the other side all right I reckon that's a pretty good circle if I say so myself and chuck that on the sides this has to work now. come on come on oh oh that was a really good spin that was really good it's so close come on oh Wait, it keeps almost doing it. It gets so close. Oh, yes! Whoa. It's spinning like a fan. When the water got added into Minecraft, people got creative and turned the sonic boom into sonic satisfaction. This is yeast. What is yeast? You don't know what yeast is? You buy it from the grocery store. It's in all your bread. Oh. But it gets a little Ew. bit wacky when you uh, mix it with boiling water. So I need you to grab that kettle over there. Yep, right. Yes. Now, while that's happening, I've got some uh, very dangerous hydrogen peroxide. Do not try this at home, all right? And we filled the beaker up with all of this. I'm gonna chuck it right in the center beacon, super carefully. Because if it touches my skin, I won't have any more skin. <laughs> that would suck. Here's the hot water. Okay, great. Now we've got the detergent as well. And we're gonna pour that perfectly into the mix. Oh, it looks like, like right in. What? 
But we're gonna move these out of the way because uh, trust me, just like the sonic boom explodes, this is gonna explode straight out as well. Okay. And of course, it's a sonic boom, so it's gotta be blue. We're gonna grab ourselves some blue food dye and just chuck a small droplet into there. So we've got ourselves a perfectly blue solution. This is what the warden drinks for breakfast. <laughs> <laughs> All that's the warden's pee. Ew! <laughs> and now we're going to mix the boiling water into our beaker here. And then I'm gonna stir that together. Ooh, All right, okay. here goes nothing. We've got the yeast. We're gonna pour it in. Three, two, one. And it goes, and it goes! Oh. Stand back. What's happening? It's climbing. Oh. It's gonna happen it's gonna top. Top. Wow. Ew. Okay, you know what? This is less of a warden sonic boom and more of the warden went to the bathroom. In Minecraft, it's impossible to cut slime using a stone cutter. But in real life... Wait, how are we going to get a stone cutter in real life? Those things are primitive. Okay, yes, we have upgraded a little bit since the stone age. So while we don't have a stone cutter, we do have... Run, chainsaw! Run! Right. You yes. can't use that, that's not safe. Now, I ain't gonna lie, I couldn't find any videos of anyone trying this on the internet, but I always wanted to see what happens when you cut slime, so uh, let's give it a good no. little go. This is about to be no, satisfied. No, 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 no. Oh, what? It's going into the chainsaw. Ew, ew. Don't get it on me. Oh, look at it, dude. Ew, dude. that is disgusting. This chainsaw's not good. Whoa. Whoa. That's insane! Thank you to all of these guys for making today's video possible. You're my new favorite EY Mega fans. If you want a shout out, just click the join button below this video, scroll down, and click EY Mega Fan.